Tai Tai Kapuso. Pahiram po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy, and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Hindi po ako nakabate kahapon ng Happy Easter. Kaya, alam niyo po, I got this video message from a friend. Napakaganda. Sabi niya, ang takeaway ko from uh, Easter, lalo na yung uh, araw ng pagkabuhay, tama ba ako? Sabi niya, uh, it's a reminder that life uh, does, uh, no, life does not end and love never dies. Ganda, no? Happy Easter po sa inyong lahat. And we're very excited because uh, the vibe in the studio today is happy. Dahil ang ating panauhin, ating guest, is one of the most talented performers in the country today. Please welcome Mark Bautista. Hi, Mr. Boy. Hi, Mark. We're live. I know, live. <laughs> live. Live na live. 2003, I was a judge. Star for a night. Kung saan, uh, this was Viva produced, right? Viva. Okay. IBC 13. IBC 13. <laughs> oh, uh, you na, na, were na, one na. of the finalists. Kasama mo si Sarah Geronimo. Yeah. Sino pa? Um, Angeline Quinto. Okay. Mao Marcelo. Uh, we have Jason Velasquez. Uh, uh, At marami pang iba. Marami pa. Galing, no? When you go back to... Wife ni um, si Angeli May. Um, okay. Maya. Uh, wife okay. ni Eigenman. This ni was 2003. Joe. 2003. Mark, how much of that boy I saw, that boy from Cagayan de Oro <laughs> City, you know, the bright-eyed hopeful in Star for Night, how much of that boy is still there? I, I feel like I'm the same Tito Boy. Uh, the same na provinciano, na curious sa buhay, and um, pero very ano pa rin, candid, very uh, uh, simple. Uh, ganun pa rin ang ko. Mahiyain. Ngayon kasi parang feeling ko may confidence na, na nadagdag. Right. Pero I still uh, speak my heart out and... Uh, 20 years later. Kung may mensahe ka para doon sa batang Mark na uh, sasali sa Star for Night, what would you tell him? Seryosohin mo ang uh, competition. Um, uh, kasi that time, Tito Boy, iniisip ko, uh, determined akong manalo dahil lang gusto kong makatulong. Like, pera, gusto oh, kong okay. makuha yung cash prize. Mm -hmm. um, hindi ko iniisip yung showbiz na makakapasok ko sa You showbiz. just wanted to win because gusto of the money. manalo dahil makatulong and uh, because of the money. Okay. And uh, ngayon, gusto kong sabihin na maraming uh, pwede mag-open na uh, opportunity sa'yo after that competition. Kaya, uh, i-prepare mo yung sarili mo uh, kasi pwede nang pumasok sa show business. Mag-acting class ka. Mag-dance class ka. Okay. Mag ano? Mag-fast talk ka. Let's do it! Okay. <laughs> Two minutes. Alright. And our time begins now. Mark, singing, acting. Singing. Writing, painting. Painting. Paborito mong i-drawing? Oh, um, abstract. Workout, eat out. Workout. Paborito mong lutuin? Ah, mm. Omelette. Manila, CDO. Ah, ang hirap. CDO muna. London, New York. New York. Oo o hindi? Mahilig ka ba sa chismis? No. Showbiz friend na lagi mong kachismisan? Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Geronimo or Rachel Ango? Wow! Nako. Uh, Dudumugin ako na. na. Uh, both. Both, Pwede okay. Uh, kanta na sana ikaw ang nagsulat. Ang dami. Um... Tell me, ni Louis Ocampo. Beautiful um, song. What else? Theme song ng buhay mo, ngayon. Oh, wow. Um, um, happy, clap along if you feel like happiness. Your greatest you. achievement? Uh, I think uh, w uh, 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 the National Theatre in London. Mm. Your dream, do it. With uh, Barbara Stars. <laughs> Yan yung dati yung, dati yung dream, pero okay. I don't know, wala lang. That's a great dream. <laughs> Best thing about being a middle child? Uh, you have... Um, best thing... Um, it, ano yung sa... Hand me down. Yeah, okay. yung sa panganay na lalaki namin sa akin napupunta bago dun Correct. sa mga okay. bunso. Worst thing about a, being a middle child? Kasi kung hindi gagawin ng panganay at hindi rin gagawin ng bunso, Ikaw ako gagawa. gagawa. Papa's boy, mama's boy? Ah, oh, mama's boy. Showbiz best friend? 
uh, sa bingo si Christian kasi siya yung laging Biggest kasama. misconception about you? Um, na, uh, street to. Na street when to. do you feel most sexy? Ooh, after taking a bath. Your love language? Cooking. Private or public? Private. Career or love? Love. <laughs> mahal mo, mahal ka? Mahal Lights ko. on, lights off. Off. Happiness or chocolate? Happiness. When is the best time for happiness? Anytime. Complete the sentence. I am Mark Bautista and I am. I am brave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat, Mark, for today's talk. Diyan ka muna, magkumentuhan okay. tayo. Okay. Um, ang ating for today's talk ay may kinalaman po kay Van Va Miss Vanessa Hudgens. Yung uh, media conference, press conference, na ginanap po sa Manila House, Mark, March 31, uh, there was a press conference, media conference that I hosted. Napakaraming mga issues po. Marami na po ang naisulat, marami na po ang nasabi. Uh, tatlong bagay ang nais kong pag-usapan. Una, yung fast talk. Na according to uh, some speculations, I offended Vanessa Hudgens, na upset si Direk Paul. I want to talk about it. Number two, I went off script na hindi raw ikinatuwa ng ilang tao doon sa MediaCon. Pangatlo, ano ba ang sinabi ni Vanessa Hudgens sa akin personally after the press conference? Ano ba ang sinabi ng management team uh, ng Hollywood, uh, Hollywood management team ni Vanessa Hudgens sa akin? Okay. Umpisa natin. First, I'd like to thank Joyce Ramirez. Who, uh, she was the one who contacted me for this particular gig. December pa lamang po ay tinawagan ako if I could possibly host a media conference for Vanessa Hudgens. Originally scheduled for February na move to March 31. So, walang problema po doon. Joyce Ramirez and I have worked together in projects uh, for Mario Moore, uh, Zach Efron, at marami pa pong iba. So, no problem. No questions asked. I will do it. It's Vanessa Hudgens. It's an honor for me to do an interview with Vanessa Hudgens and to moderate uh, a press conference. Pero, may mga usapan na na-offend uh, di umano si Vanessa Hudgens because I did fast talk at na-upset si Direct Paul Soriano that caused uh, the shortening or yung pagkat ng mga one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with some members of the media. Tama po, Fast Talk was not part of the press conference. As a matter of fact, mapapanood niyo po buka sa aking YouTube channel, The Boy Abunda Talk channel, yung edited version, yung ibinigay ho sa akin. Na, I ended the interview. I said, Vanessa, maraming salamat. Thank you. On behalf of uh, every everyone, uh, personally, I'd like to thank you. I was ending the interview. And then, somebody po shouted, gently, Tito Boy! Tito Boy! Fast Talk! Tapos, may mga nakisali, Fast Talk! Fast Talk! Fast Talk! Vanessa Hudgens po, nagtanong, Boy, what's Fast Talk? Very quickly, pinaliwanag ko, rapid fire questioning, and then you tell me the first thing that's com that comes to mind. Itinuloy ko na po, sunrise, sunset, love or career, love or money, if you have a third eye, where, where would it be? If you have wings, where would you go until I ask the sexy questions? There was no indicator that Vanessa Hudgens was offended. She was having fun. The vibe was happy. You know why? Uh, Nanay Tatay Kapuso, she's an intelligent, very brave girl. She's seasoned. And she's just a happy girl. Napakaganda po sa personal. And bright. She's very, very bright. She's very bright. And she does interviews. So, walang indication that she was offended and she was not offended i would know i've been interviewing people for over 30 years and i would know if one like you know i just asked Ma mark bautista sarah or uh sarah rachel. or uh rachel rachel and you know if you know you want to say both if you don't want to answer i don't push lalo na if a fast talk question makes someone uncomfortable so okay Na upset daw si Direct Paul uh, that cost uh, for some of the one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, to be shortened, hindi ko po alam yun. But here is the story. Vanessa was not offended and I will explain to you why. Pangalawa, I went off script. Mabilisan lamang po ito. I was given a program flow. I was given a working script. And people who've worked with me, alam ho nila that I work hard on a script. A script is not what is written. A script is what is discussed among writers. Ano ba ang intention ng interview nito? So, there were a couple of factors. Number one, I was supposed to welcome the guests, to welcome the Balik Bayans. I was to welcome Tita Gina, the mother of Vanessa Hudgens. I was to welcome Stella, her sister, and uh, 
lahat ng tao doon sa media conference na ginanap sa Manila House sa BGC, I was to mention that uh, she signed a deal for a travel documentary with the award-winning film outfit 1017P. Also, I was to discuss kung ano nang mga Tagalog words ang kanyang natutunan, her Philippine experience, uh, and that uh, she just came from the palace where she was appointed uh, as honorary tourist, global tourism ambassador of the Philippines. Lahat po yan na nasa program flow, I covered. But an interview is more than just what is provided in a program flow. Meron din mga ifinid sa akin na itay kapuso. Mga ifinid sa amin ng mga tao na bahagi ng programa. Katulad ho na mahil... She fell in love with Dinikling. She was so happy to talk about it. That uh, even if she was a pescetarian, napakain siya ng chicken adobo dahil sa napakasarap. Pangatlo, yes, I will admit, I was also fed that she was considering and she may be considering getting married in the Philippines. So doon sa interview, meron ho akong tanong na, you know, I hear that some people may be flown in uh, to the Philippines in November. Medyo nakita ko na hindi komportable si Vanessa. Sabi niya, um, that's for another conversation, that's personal. I didn't push. I stopped. Instead, I went to a discussion about her desire to have an intimate relationship with the Philippines. Alam ko po kung I know my boundaries. So, if you need them, before the, before the interview, I had a very short discussion also with Direct Paul, who said, Little boy, ang tentative title namin is The Awakening. I got that from Direct Paul, and I mentioned that during the press conference. And then some people are making a big fuzz about my mentioning Zac Efron. Nay, tay kapuso, before I introduced Vanessa Hudgens, nasa video was High School Musical. Lahat ng mukha ni Zac Efron was there. So I had to acknowledge. But I said in the press conference, I will stop here because we're not supposed to talk about him. Ano naman yung resulta ng research namin? Because we do research when we do interviews. Doon lumabas yung kanyang hilig sa paranormal. And she was very, very happy to talk about it. Sabi ko that you can probably trace that to your Filipino heritage. I wanted to lift up Vanessa Hudgens. I wanted her to know that I was so impressed with her body of work. Uh, Tick, Tick, Boom. Jonathan Larson's uh, work. Uh, may isa pa, The Princess Switch na pinanood natin noong pandemia. I also told her I was so impressed with the fact that she's worked with people like Nicolas Cage, James Franco, Selena Gomez, uh, Jennifer Lopez, because I wanted people to know that Vanessa, being a film, is one, if not the biggest, Filipino-American actor in Hollywood. I also researched that she hosted the MTV Awards. She hosted uh, the red carpet interviews of the Oscars this year and last year. She hosted also the Met Gala uh, red carpet interviews kung saan nawalan siya ng bosses. And she was surprised why I knew because I researched. I also went to Vanessa's acting, acting technique, acting process. Ang dami namin narating. So, ano ho bang interview? May program flow? Merong mga ifinid? Merong kaming research? That's the whole interview. Did I go off script? Hindi ho. I work hard on my interviews. So here's the thing. Ano ba ang reaksyon ng team ni Vanessa Hudgens? I got it. I got their text message from uh, a reliable, reliable uh, person from uh, the team that they were very happy, hindi lamang doon sa media conference. They were very happy with Vanessa's visit to the Philippines and how it was handled. So congratulations to all, Joyce, Direct Paul, lahat. Uh, they were very happy about it. And in particular, they had no complaints and they were very happy with our interview during the media conference. Huli na lamang po. Nung natapos ang lahat, nagpaalam po ako kay Direct Paul and if Paul had problems with me, Kaya hindi po ako naniniwala that he had an issue with me because he could have called me out. Uh, if he was bothered, and if, if he was pissed with fast talk, I would have felt it. Sabi pa, Paul, by I'm going ahead and uh, send my love to Tony. I said goodbye to Joyce. I said goodbye to Vanessa. I went to Vanessa. Vanessa, thank you for the opportunity. You know what she said? Boy, I love your energy.
which I thought was a wonderful comment from a wonderful, bright, intelligent girl. Salamat. Maraming salamat. Ito Gina, Stella, Vanessa, mabuhay ka, and thank you very much. So, in conclusion, ano ba ang problema? What is the problem? If you want a statement from me, this is what I'm going to say. I don't just script my interviews. I live them. Maraming salamat po. Okay. Sana'y kuminto na tayo doon. <laughs> too big, too big. <laughs> too big, too big. Sandali lamang, Mark. Huwag <laughs> niyo ginagalis dito po eh. Uh, I was just uh, explaining. Dahil it's getting yeah. out of bound. Pero pag-usapan natin si Mark. <laughs> pag-usapan natin si Mark. Sabi ko nga, I wanted this conversation to be Mark after the book. Mark, pagka in 2018, lumabas yung iyong libro, Beyond the Mark. Ang mga katanungan ko ay... Did you hit the mark? Are you happy with the result? Did you achieve what you wanted to achieve? Or, may pagsisisi ba? May regret ba na isinulat mo ang librong yon? Ang kasagutan, sa pagbabalik po ng Fast Talk with Boy Abu. We're back on the show. Si Mark was supposed to do a sketch of me habang nagpo for today's talk. Masado um, ng ano, intense. Nadala ka, no? Nadala ako. Pero Mark, you have a very special, a very... I mean, the word is not special, but you have a distinct, low... How is it? Baritone? Mas baritone ako dito, boy. Uh, Mas... Pwede uh, akong sa mababa, pero kaya kong mag-hit ng... Konting taas. Go nga to your uh, so lowest pang, and go to your highest. So pang... Ha... Okay. Ah! Ang pwede yun. Ah! Ah! Ako naman ang tagal. Ano yun? Soprano. <laughs> no, but how do you vocalize? You vocalize from low to yes. high? Dapat laging ganun. Kasi Paano? Para mas ma-warm up ng maayos. Right, yung boss. So I start with, uh, familiar ka naman si Good Boy sa... <laughs> yes, right. And then meron ako natutunan sa... Ginagawa namin yung mga hosts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, pwede right. yun, pang, pang warm up. Okay. Um, may natutunan din ako nung nag, sa London na ang, ang teacher namin, sinabi niya, do this, uh, para mas forward naman yung voice. Pakita mo yung vibration dito sa part na to. I know. How, how long do you do that? Pag maramdaman mo na na parang warm up Relax na. Yun, relax Let's na. do it. One, two, three. <laughs> Ah, hindi mo inihinto? Okay. So, parang mas dito yung boses. Galing. Let's talk about your book. Now that I'm relaxed. Agad-agad. Okay, agad-agad. <laughs> Pero, Mark, did you hit the mark? I mean, of course. Mark I'm, meaning... Uh, did you achieve what you wanted? Yeah, the freedom. The freedom. Yeah. So, wala kang regret. Ang hirap dito, boy, mag... Like, uh, ang hirap mag-apologize sa isang bagay na totoo. Like, my truth. Uh, uh, wala akong regret. Uh, but the truth can cost something. You know, lalo na in a public space like ours. Ang tanong ko, ano ang naging epekto ng libro sa karera mo? Um, na-realize ko dito, boy. Uh, in terms sa, sa music, I feel like um, Nagkakaroon pa rin ako mga shows naman. Uh, it's the same, parang walang nagbago. But I think, dahil uma-acting ako, nagkaroon na ng um, limitation yung, uh, yung uh, binibigay na offers or mas naging na, na stereotype na yung, yung role na pwedeng ibigay sa akin. Um, Isn't that unfair? To you um, as an actor? I think so. Kasi gusto ko rin i... Gusto ko pa rin gawin na parang like normal na, na role or like yung straight na role um, so normally after nung nag-book ako marami ring nag-offer sa akin na, na movies um, na gagawin pat puro BL uh, meron ding uh, pero ang Viva in, hindi sila nag-agree kasi depende rin sa, sa okay. content sa, sa material so Mark hindi na namlay ang karera mo dahil sa napaka-controversial na librong ilinabas mo I don't think so, Tito Boy. You don't um, think so? Okay. I'm, may mga changes. Uh, may mga... Katulad ng... Yun nga. Um, 
like sa film uh, sa mga offers na binibigay. The offers. Okay. Um, ngayon, pag nagko-concert ako lagi ng may fear ako na may manonood ba or something. Okay. May 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 ganun lang ako. Did you earn from the book? Uh, Viva. Hindi naman ako humingi ng uh, ano eh. Ah, okay. Never so it was humingi. not like you wrote the book because uh, this is a business. I want to earn no, from no, the book. No, no, Wala yon. No, no. What about the reviews? The best it, and the worst reviews? Yeah. Mixed. Uh, Mixed reviews. Oh, oh uh, uh-huh. um, Even the the comments uh, sa, sa Instagram ko. For a time, nung nag, nag-release ako, um, tinurn off ko yung okay. comment section kasi medyo harsh yung iba. Uh, what, what, what but was the, the reviews, okay, the reviews. Uh, in terms of reviews, so far, yung mga na, natanggap ko naman, kasi rin, siguro hindi rin ako nagbabasa ng, nung time na yun, okay. uh, dahil sa sobrang uh, tahot ko, hindi ako nag-open uh, ng uh, mga reviews or uh, yung mga friends ko lang na nakabasa, yung mga mentors ko before na nagbasa, nung sinabi nila na yung mga people na I trusted na magsasabi sa akin ng totoo, yun yung pinaniwala ako. Did so, you get the support of people you expected to support you nung pumutok yung kontrobersiya? Mas na-shock ako dun sa mga taong hindi ko in-expect na magsusupport sa akin. Uh, okay. Mas dun ako, mas yun yung pinag-aawakan ko. Um, pero meron akong mga, like, may ibang friends, konting friends lang na parang mag- naging distant. Naging Dahil, distant. Uh, because of your revelations. Yeah, yeah. That they could not take about, mm. uh, they could not take your revelation about yeah, your yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. sexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Meron naman sa showbiz na naging distant dahil feeling nila na I was just doing it for 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 publicity. For publicity. Just to make noise. So medyo dun ko nakilala. Na intindihan okay. ba ng maraming tao yung identity mo? Um, I think so. Kasi because you identify yeah. yourself as bisexual. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wala, wala namang problema doon. I, I, I don't think may, okay. may problema. All right. Iwanan natin yun. Here Lies Love is one of the biggest things that's gonna happen in Broadway po ngayong taon. <laughs> June, July? Uh, I don't know. Uh, sa- July. Yeah. July. July. I was surprised dahil hindi ka bahagi ng Here Lies Love and where you played uh, Mark, uh, the Marcos. late Fernand Marcos, President uh, Fernand Marcos, in the was- Seattle, yeah, and Washington, London, and, Seattle. and the London version. Bakit, Mark? Um, sa totoo, Tito Boy, nag-expect din ako nung hindi pa siya lumabas, sabi ko, uy, baka may chance na ito na yun, na parang Broadway dream ko, na parang baka makapasok na talaga ako kasi ito na, uh, given na eh. Okay. Pero, part of me, ready na rin kasi alam ko na na mas priority nila yung original cast. Jose Liana. Jose Liana na magaling din. Who did the and, off-Broadway uh, yeah. version, the original. Nung, nalam- yes. nung nilabas yung news about about Jose doing the, the role, wala akong problema. Super Pero, happy ako. Can I tell you something? Um, Naitay Kapuso, I was talking to Bobby Garcia and you really loved by the team. Totoo yan. <laughs> and they're hoping that you can do the role in the future. Yeah. Uh, nag-email naman sila. To be fair sa kanila, Tito Boy, nag-email sila like yung director namin uh, na parang, Mark, don't worry. Kasi, what, pwedeng sa national tour or sa right. replacement for Broadway. Uh-oh. And the best thing about about the production, Tito Boy, <coughs> um, ngayon, nag-email sila na parang may may percentage kami sa net profit ng, ng, ng Broadway show. Galing. So, oh. maganda pa rin. I mean, okay. Mark, that brings me to my last question. Today, as we talk to each other, are you happy? I am. I am happy. Tito you boy. are happy. I am happy. That's, what matters the most. Thank you. Thank Mark, you. Mark, maraming salamat. Thank you. Maraming, maraming salamat. I'm looking forward to your being part of Real Life Love. I know. Uh, uh, dream ko yun dito, maraming, boy. Maraming, maraming salamat. Uh, you have my love, you have my respect. Thank you. And uh, go, fly. Thank you. Diba? Show the world what you have. Maraming, maraming salamat. Naitay, kapuso, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin, sa inyong mga puso at tahanan. Uh, pati na si Mark, maraming maraming salamat. Stay kind, be kind, make your nanay and tatay proud. Hashtag say thank you, say thank you. Let's talk again tomorrow. Goodbye for now. God bless.